Welcome back to Tech Cloud Solutions. This is part five of AZ-104 practice test for 2025. Get ready for the tricky must-know questions, plus your free PDF and mock test. Let's finish your Azure journey strong. Question 31. Note, this question is part of a series of questions that present the same scenario. Each question in the series contains a unique solution that might meet the stated goals. You have an Azure container registry named Registry 1 that contains an image named Image 1. You receive an error message when you attempt to deploy a container instance by using Image 1. You need to be able to deploy a container instance by using Image 1. Solution, you set admin user to enable for Registry 1. Does this meet the goal? This question is about authentication requirements for deploying container instances from Azure Container Registry. The deployment is failing, likely due to authentication issues, and we need to determine if enabling the admin user resolves this problem. The options are A, yes, B, no. Think of Azure Container Registry like a private warehouse that stores your container images. Just like you need proper credentials to access a secure warehouse, you need authentication to pull images from a private registry. The admin user acts like a master key that provides full access to the registry. The correct answer is yes, absolutely correct. Enabling the admin user for registry one will meet the goal. According to Azure documentation, the admin account is specifically required for certain deployment scenarios, including deploying container images from Azure Container Registry directly to Azure Container Instances. When you enable the admin user, Azure Container Registry provides you with a username and password that can be used for authentication. This is particularly important when deploying through the Azure portal, as the portal needs these credentials to authenticate with the private registry and pull the container image during deployment. The admin account has full permissions to the registry, including both push and pull access. While it's designed primarily for testing purposes and single user scenarios, it's currently the required authentication method for portal-based deployments to Azure Container Instances. Once enabled, you can use the admin credentials in your deployment configuration to successfully pull and deploy Image 1 from Registry 1. Alternative authentication methods like managed identities and service principles exist for production scenarios. But for this specific case of resolving deployment errors, enabling the admin user is the direct solution that addresses the authentication requirement. To get the free PDF or mock test, comment PDF or mock or both, I will share the downloadable link within the next 24 hours. Question 32. Note, this question is part of a series of questions that present the same scenario. Each question in the series contains a unique solution that might meet the stated goals. You have an Azure Container Registry named Registry 1 that contains an image named Image 1. You receive an error message when you attempt to deploy a container instance by using Image 1. You need to be able to deploy a container instance by using Image 1. Solution, you assign the Acker pull role to ACR Tasks Network for Registry 1. Does this meet the goal? This question tests whether assigning the Acker pull role to ACR Tasks Network will resolve container instance deployment errors. We need to understand what identity is actually needed for container instance authentication with Azure Container Registry. The options are A, yes, B, no. Think of this like giving someone permission to enter a building, but giving that permission to the wrong person. Even if the permission level is correct, Acker pull for reading images, if you're not giving it to the right identity that will actually be used for deployment, it won't solve the problem. The correct answer is no, correct. This solution does not meet the goal because ACR Tasks Network is not the appropriate identity for container instance deployment authentication. Based on Azure documentation, Azure Container Registry requires authentication for all access, and there are specific methods for different scenarios. For deploying container instances from Azure Container Registry, you typically need one of these authentication methods. Enabling the admin user, as we saw in the previous question, using a service principle with proper credentials, or configuring managed identity authentication. The Acre pull role itself is correct. It provides the necessary pull permissions, but it needs to be assigned to the right identity that will actually be used during the container instance deployment process. ACR Tasks Network appears to be related to Azure Container Registry Tasks Networking, not Container Instance Deployment Authentication. 
Container instances need to authenticate directly with the registry to pull images, and this requires either admin user credentials, service principal authentication, or managed identity, not a role assignment to a task's network identity. The deployment error will persist because the container instance deployment process cannot use the ACR task's network identity to authenticate and pull the image from registry one. If this video is helping you, support us by hitting the like button and don't forget to subscribe for more content like this. Question 33. Note, this question is part of a series of questions that present the same scenario. Each question in the series contains a unique solution that might meet the stated goals. You have an Azure Container Registry named Registry 1 that contains an image named Image 1. You receive an error message when you attempt to deploy a container instance by using Image 1. You need to be able to deploy a container instance by using Image 1. Solution. You select Use Dedicated Data Endpoint for Registry 1. Does this meet the goal? This continues the same scenario about container deployment errors. We need to determine if enabling dedicated data endpoints will resolve authentication issues that prevent container instance deployment from Azure Container Registry. The options are A, yes, B, no. Think of dedicated data endpoints like upgrading from a basic phone plan to a premium security package. While the premium features are great for advanced security needs, they won't fix a basic problem like having the wrong password to make calls. Similarly, dedicated data endpoints solve networking problems, not authentication problems. The correct answer is no, correct. Selecting use dedicated data endpoint does not meet the goal of resolving container deployment errors. Dedicated data endpoints are a premium tier security feature designed for network access control and data exfiltration prevention. They provide specific domain names like registry, data.azurecr.io instead of using generic blob storage endpoints, which helps with firewall rule configuration. However, the core issue in this scenario is authentication, not networking. Based on our previous questions in this series, we know that enabling the admin user was the correct solution for container deployment authentication. Dedicated data endpoints address completely different concerns. They help organizations create tighter firewall rules and reduce data exfiltration risks, but they don't resolve authentication failures when trying to pull images for container instance deployment. Why this solution doesn't work? The deployment error occurs because Azure Container Instances cannot authenticate with the private registry to pull the image. Dedicated data endpoints change how data flows through the network, but don't provide the authentication credentials needed for the deployment process. The container instance still needs proper authentication, like admin user credentials or managed identity, to access registry one, regardless of which data endpoints are used. Question 34. Note, this question is part of a series of questions that present the same scenario. Each question in the series contains a unique solution that might meet the stated goals. You have an Azure Container Registry named Registry 1 that contains an image named Image 1. You receive an error message when you attempt to deploy a container instance by using Image 1. You need to be able to deploy a container instance by using Image 1. Solution you create a private endpoint connection for Registry 1. Does this meet the goal? This is the fourth question in the series about container deployment errors. We need to determine if creating a private endpoint connection will resolve the authentication issue that's preventing container instance deployment from Azure Container Registry. The options are A, yes, B, no. Think of private endpoints like building a secure private tunnel between your office and the bank instead of walking through public streets. While this tunnel makes the connection more secure and private, you still need your bank card and PIN to access your account once you get there. Similarly, private endpoints secure the network path, but don't provide authentication credentials. The correct answer is no, correct. Creating a private endpoint connection does not meet the goal of resolving container deployment errors. Private endpoints are a networking feature that enables secure, private connectivity to Azure Container Registry within a virtual network. They prevent traffic from flowing over the public internet and provide enhanced security through network isolation. However, the core issue in this scenario remains authentication, not network connectivity. 
From our first question in this series, we established that enabling the admin user was the correct solution because it provides the authentication credentials needed for container instance deployment. Private endpoints address network security concerns, but don't solve authentication problems. Question 35. You have an Azure storage account named Storage1 that stores images. You need to create a new storage account and replicate the images in Storage1 to the new account by using object replication. You need to configure the new account. Which account type should you choose? This question is about object replication in Azure Storage, which is a specific feature for copying blob data between storage accounts. The key is understanding which account types support blob storage and object replication functionality. Options A, Storage V2 only. B, Storage V2 or File Storage only. C, Storage V2 or Blob Storage only. D, Storage V2, Blob Storage, or File Storage. Think of object replication like setting up automatic photocopying between two photo albums. You need both albums to support the same type of photos blobs and have the copying feature available. Some album types only work with specific content types. Correct answer, Storage V2 or Blob Storage only, perfect. Object replication is an Azure feature that works specifically with blob storage to automatically copy block blobs between storage accounts. Based on the search results, Storage V2, General Purpose V2, accounts support all Azure storage services, including blob storage, which makes them compatible with object replication. Blob storage accounts are legacy blob-only accounts, specifically designed for storing unstructured data like images, and they fully support object replication features. Here's why each account type works or doesn't work. Storage V2 accounts are the recommended modern storage accounts that include comprehensive blob storage capabilities, along with object replication support. Blob storage accounts, while legacy, are purpose-built for blob storage and maintain full object replication functionality. However, file storage accounts are premium storage accounts designed exclusively for Azure files. SMB NFS file shares, not blob storage, so they cannot participate in object replication scenarios. Why file storage is excluded? File storage accounts only support Azure File Service for enterprise file sharing scenarios. Since object replication requires blob storage capabilities to copy images and other unstructured data between accounts, file storage accounts simply don't have the necessary blob storage infrastructure to support this feature. The replication would fail because there's no blob storage service available in file storage accounts. That's a wrap on AZ-104 Part 5. Download your free resources, take the mock test, and ace your exam. Subscribe for more cloud certifications and share your results in the comments. Good luck.